Hey everyone and welcome to Young Adults. I hope that you all had an incredible Christmas. If you're joining us for the first time, my name is Gabriel and I get to serve as one of the pastors here at Christ Fellowship. And can you believe the year is almost over? It's almost 2024. I can't believe that the year's almost done and God has done incredible things in 2023. We've seen powerful things, we've seen funny things. As a matter of fact, rather than me telling you about them, let me show you really quick. It's just a picture of where we're at right now. And it's a picture of how the enemy knows that if he gets the men, uh, he has a, a higher percentage chance of getting the whole family. But it, uh, conversely, if God gets the man, then he's got the whole family. Kings can be in charge. Kings can acknowledge their own prominence. It was when his heart became exalted that he says he lost favor from the Lord. It was when he started to think highly of himself. It was when he started to ascribe glory to himself and not to God. Again, pride is not being in a high position. Pride is thinking highly of yourself. And so we're calling, we're calling men to be courageous, to be godly, and to be impactful in their lives, in their families, and in their communities. What's up, young adults? My name is Sam Lanero. I get to be one of the prominent, blah. Wow, that was trash. I know, that was bad. We're so excited about Zeal coming next year, our, our once a month gatherings that we have branded and you can now, uh, oh, uh, That's what tripped me up because I was still thinking about it and I'm like, wait, what am I saying right now? Dang it. Oh my God, I forgot you're filming, bro, this guy, go away, <laughs> go away. Hi guys, we're so glad you're here today. Please turn your Bibles to the book of Mark, chapter two. We are, it wasn't just like men in the image of God. He made them, you know, they were made in his image, like male and female. Um, so we, we are image bearers of our creator. Eve's first calling to God was to fulfill his purpose for her life. That was her first calling. The primary influence in a kingdom woman's life is God, not man. We were not only made for man, we were made for God. <laughs> Boy, you open up. God is love, baby, don't hurt me. If uh, I may be able to send this out to you a little bit early so you can get like, a good look at it you know, before everybody else, cool. keep that to yourself. It's okay, sure. yeah. I'm not gonna lie to you, Jess. I have yet to see a podcast, so I may not even watch this one. <laughs> I mean, honestly, you, you, what? what? You, you don't you enjoy listening to yourself? I oh, I, no. I mean, even like my wife, she said, hey, let's watch your sermon. I'm like, no, nah, I'm good. I appreciate it. I know what I said. Listen, we are not promised as children of God that we won't go through problems, that we won't be fearful. No, we are promised that we're going to go through some things. But as children of God, what we are promised is that God is with us. Uh, every Monday, uh, we have a time where we sit down and we give feedback to each other. Mm. Where really it's Abby giving feedback to me because, <laughs> <laughs> let's be real. Uh, that's how it is. That's, that's how, how it is. is. And so I that, won't confirm or deny that. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay. deny it. Uh, <laughs> so, the Son of Man is Lord even of the Sabbath. Let's pray. Hey everyone, and welcome to our young adult podcast, Adultish. I didn't like that one because I went adultish. Let's do it one more time. You saw that, right? You saw that, like adultish. <laughs> you're finding your identity in all these things, uh, and you lose completely, entirely the focus on on worshiping the Creator. Uh, and so that that happens often, even believers. Let's be honest here. Uh, sometimes, you know, I have a newborn, and we are enamored with Mateo and mm -hmm. you can you can easily fall into worshiping your kids yeah, worshiping small. your spouse and and they're everything to you uh, uh, but they're secondary to yeah. what what what's main in your life what's important which is which is the Lord so um, don't worry about the countdown uh, for, for CP you don't have to worry about the, the are you like triggered <laughs> like You're like it's zero I got it oh uh, so they're bye 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 Starts giving me like the side of like Gabby. Gabby? Gabby? <laughs> They're gonna turn your mic off. <laughs> hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome to our. I'm gonna figure that one out again. <laughs> Welcome to Christ Fellowship. I'm sorry if it's too much. I'm gonna be real. Lovingly smack people's faces to the cross. Okay. 
Can we brand that? Spiritual smacks? I like that. But that is not specifically the way that Jesus called people to follow him. He didn't say, come sit in my classroom. He said, come and follow me. He was a rabbi, a teacher, yes, but, but that was a very different context than the way we think of teachers and students today. The most true form of worship also begins with understanding your need yeah. for who God is. With Father, I have sinned. I need your grace. I don't feel like worshiping you right now. And I think scripture, we need to let people know that scripture leaves room for you to come to God with that kind of attitude, yeah. right? As long as it ends with hope in who God is mm -hmm. and what Christ has done for us. Yeah. In such a beautiful way and imagery here as we're studying Mark chapter one, where you see as someone is also announcing the arrival of the best athlete in the world, if you could say. The, uh, the arrival of the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. Here's John the Baptist and he's getting hype. He's getting everyone to know that here comes Jesus. Jesus is coming to save the world. When Jesus, the, the Lord over all of the universe, looks at you and you think that you're good, you think that you're gonna get into heaven and he looks at you and he says, I never knew you. Depart from me, you workers of lawlessness. That, there is nothing more terrifying than that. In my opinion, this is one of the most terrifying and scary passages in the entire Bible. Yeah. Cut, so that's wrong. it, we're done. So wrong. Said, uh, is that my cue to leave? <laughs> yeah. The what? Yes, can you? <laughs> yeah, no, I mean, I, no, yeah. I you don't like Marvel? To... Like for real, for real? I fell asleep in one of the Avengers in theaters. Oh, whoa, no, whoa, hold on. Oh. It's don't, I thought you just didn't watch them. I thought, didn't know it was don't that's like, no, like, like I, No, like, it's not that I don't like them. It's just like, I don't know. I'm I don't know. Of for this I'm, are you saved? Or, no, I'm just <laughs> kidding. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. <laughs> a little bit. Actually, you do actually. I'm not going to lie. For real? Yeah. Front tooth. Oh, thank you, bro. Want a stain? No, it's a stain, bro. I'm oh, sorry. It's a, stain. It's a, oh, okay. it's a cup. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> And I'm super pumped to be getting the new year off. Blah! Thumbnail, me like this. Blah. Wasn't that incredible? I know that you guys enjoyed the powerful moments, but also those funny moments as well. And uh, I gotta tell you, I gotta share my heart. I'm just so grateful for what God has done in 2023. We've seen so much life transformation. We've seen people that didn't know Jesus and were maybe even afraid to step foot into a church, but because of this generation, because of our community, because of the way that we love Jesus and we wanna show that love, people now have a relationship with God because of our church in this ministry. And so really quick, I just wanted to thank all of you guys. I wanna thank our small group leaders, all of our leaders at Young Adults. Thank you for your faithfulness. Matter of fact, if you are an attendee, you come to Young Adults, I wanna encourage you, text your leader. Thank them for loving you and being faithful every single Tuesday, coming here and just encouraging you. And also, I wanna thank Pastor Omar and our senior leadership here at our church. Thank you for believing in us and allowing us to have this beautiful ministry at Christ Fellowship. But also, my heart is excited I'm looking with anticipation towards 2024. I believe that God wants to do something amazing, that the work is not done, that we're gonna see more life transformation. I'm excited for the events. We have zeal coming. We're already planning it and we are already really excited about it. We're also gonna be gathering all of our campuses at one location every single month. So we're gonna be gathering at our campuses and the last Tuesday of the month, we're gonna be coming together for a powerful time, a worship message and a fun element. God is going to do amazing things in 2024, and we cannot wait to see you there. See you guys.